Hello YouTube and welcome back, this is Nico and you're watching Determinator Gaming. Today we're playing some more Kingdom Come Deliverance, and in this video we're going to be showing you all of the treasure locations in and around the Ledechko area. Uh, this is the second part in uh, this video series, if you haven't seen the first check it out, it shows all the treasures around Sasa. Uh, note that this video, uh, all of the treasures that I will find in here, you do not need to find the maps first, you can just go to the location and the treasure will be there. It's all, it should be noted that you should bring a spade along on this trip, and that some of the chests will be locked with hard or very hard locks, so if you haven't reached that level yet, it may not be easy to get them, but in any case, bring plenty of lockpicks. Alright, so for our first location, this is actually treasure map 4, uh, you're going to just go to Ladechko and then head east along the river, and uh, you see this is the miller here, alright, so if you're just going up the road, you see this dark line in the map here, that works as a great road mark. I just like to use this leaf here as a line, the line points straight to it, there's a little cluster. We're going to pop up here, take a look around, it's just on the slope of this hill. You'll be able to find this slightly darker path, and once you find it, it's kind of tricky to find, but once you do it, it's, you know, obvious. Pop inside here, and we have a very hard lock chest, so this is one of those chests that's actually going to require a higher level, you know, in lock picking to get at. Oh, look at that, I'm a lucky thief. So that's always a useful thing to have. And inside we have an arching bassinet, an ash longbow, 317 groschen, a necklace, some nobleman's boots, noble's composite chosses, a recipe for bowman's brew, and shrinking playing dice. So, not a bad grab. Alright, our next stop will be treasure map 6, we'll lead you right here. So here's Ledechko, we're just right up the hill, you follow it right across the river up here, there's a little intersection. Come up here, again, if you want to mark it on the map, here's an easy way. See these cliffs here, you find the first dark line right here, go straight to the end of the line, put your marker, and it'll bring you to this interesting site, which is just this little, I don't know, foundation for something, and it's got a chest in it, with a hard locked chest. So we'll pop that sucker open and we'll see what's inside. Inside we have the Fear Knot. 436 groschen, lucky playing die, dark noble shoes, recipe for Lazarus potion, and a silver ring. So, not the best chest we've had, but not the worst. Our next stop will be for treasure map 7, which is right over here. You see Ledechko, alright, well now we're right up to the left of Ledechko, or to the northwest. And uh, if you just see, there's this little cluster here, there's a nice dark line. I like to use those as road maps. Well, you pick this middle one, go just a little bit further. And we have a very easy to find woodland garden. It'll be marked as an interesting spot on the map. Uh, inside is a hard locked chest, which we will do our best to pop open. All right, well, we'll check what's inside. Inside we have 431 groschen, a Kutenberg Kyrus, Noble Shoes, Recipe for Moonshine, Sharp as a Knife, 4, St. George's Sword, which I believe is the best long sword in the game, and an unpopular die. So, pretty good haul for that one. So, next up, we have Treasure Map 8, which will lead you right here. You see, here's Ledechko. We're just a little bit to the south and to the east of Ledechko. You go here, and the way I like to find this one is you just look at this first line in this field, and it'll point you straight to it. There's a tree here, there's a little bush there. Put the mark right between it, and as the treasure map suggests, there's a dead tree out here in the middle of the field. And right down into that tree, we have a unlocked sack, which will contain our treasure, which is a bassinet with clout visor, fashionable slippers, 246 groschen, a necklace, an odd die, a recipe for dollmaker potion, and a spiked warhammer. Pretty decent gain, no lock. Alright, so the next one is actually treasure map 10, and if you can see, here's Ledechko. We're down and around in the woods here. There's the veranda kill fort right there, so you know about where we are. So if you zoom in here on the map, there's a dark tree here, a little tree line. Uh, you can see there's a bandit camp just ahead of it, so if you want to avoid them, just sneak around it. But it's right here, and uh, this one is actually a grave, so you will actually need a spade to dig this one up. Uh, but that also means, lucky you, you don't need to pick the lock. So we'll pop down in there and let's see what it's got for us. Alright, and inside we have a bassinet with clap visor. Uh, 301 groschen, Holy Trinity die, Noble's Dark Shoes, Recipe for Digestive Potion, St. Michael's Sword, and Tavern Life 4. So, that's a pretty dang good haul. Okay, so the next one is Treasure Map 11. We'll lead you over here. It is uh, almost directly west of Ledechko, so we're right here. Uh, best marker I can give you is uh, there's an accident right here, so this little skull will be on the map here. 
And if you go right up to this, right above it, there's this pine tree right near the top point. Points right to it. We're going in here. It's in the mine. Not much of a mine. And it'll be right inside this bag here. So again, no lockpick, no shovel. This one is not a very great treasure. It's just a Lazarus potion, noble shoes, odd die, open bassinet, and a U hunting bow. But it is free and easy to get to. So that's that one. Okay, and our last one for this video will be treasure map 15 will lead you here. I should have probably done this right at the beginning, but either way. So here's Ledechko, and over here is Neuhoff, so we're going to pop down right here. You can see the Millers over here. Uh, there's this slightly darker spot on the map. Just pop over. It's right here. I know that's as specific as I can be, but that point is exactly on the treasure. So uh, pop out, and uh, convenient enough, there's actually a spade here if you didn't have one already, but we're just going to start digging. And inside will be our treasure chest, the one we're looking for. And uh, I think this one's locked too, so this one's a dig and a lock. Oh no, look at that, it's open. And inside we have a sea die, 314 groschen, Lazarus potion, nobles dark shoes, an old family heirloom, which I believe is a two-handed sword. Nope, it's a short sword, I was wrong. Uh, and a plate jack died, and silence is gold and other myths four. So, you know, that's this treasure chest. Well, that does it for this video. That was all of the treasures in and around the Ledechko area. Hopefully this guide proved useful. It, if it did, please leave a like. Consider subscribing and turning on notifications so you can see plenty of videos just like this. And if you haven't yet, check out my other video in this series so far, which is all of the treasures in and around Sasa, which is also a valuable guide. But in any case, thank you for watching and have a nice day. I'll see you next time.